Explained by the Billy Meyer contacts, mysteries, myths, legends, conspiracy theories, historical inaccuracies, and more. Compiled by David Chance, revised October 18, 2023. Euthanasia assisted suicide. Contact Report 031. Besides this natural and evolutionary irreparability, however, there is another form of a similar kind. This form, however, renders a life form immobile. This form can be caused by various dangerous factors, whereby lack of oxygen is the most frequent cause if we assume earthly living conditions. Since Earth humans, like ourselves, require oxygen and the various gases that permeate it, it leads to irreparability with complete inhibition of movement if such life forms are deprived of oxygen for some time. The absence of oxygen and the gases it contains causes a paralysis of certain sectors of the brain which contain the instinct of self-preservation. The brain is thus paralyzed in certain sectors and rendered non-functional, Thinking stops and the body, the limbs and organs, etc., react only involuntarily and thus reflexively. The life form still lives in this state, but it is capable neither of thought nor of movement. Life only takes place organically functionally, like a mechanism. If food is given to the body, it is digested, but the brain is no longer able to utilize or realize it. Girl, that is cruel. That is saying that such a human being is dead alive. Sure, that is very accurately expressed even by you, because such damaged life forms are in a sense actually living dead. Now I understand a great deal more. This is outrageous, and I really wonder whether euthanasia would not be appropriate in such cases. I've often thought a lot about this but I have never really been clear about whether assisted suicide should be used in such cases. I simply think that in such cases, a life form really has a right to euthanasia. Because if the consciousness is no longer functional and simply languishes in darkness, then life has become useless and meaningless. The consciousness is no longer able to fulfill its task and is sunk into darkness and uselessness. I think that in such cases euthanasia is actually absolutely justified. What I do not find correct, however, is that euthanasia is also carried out, or should be carried out where the consciousness of the life form is still intact. Euthanasia is often demanded only because the life form is old or has to endure great pain to a certain extent, or simply because certain human beings seem useless and superfluous or are afraid of illness of any negative effects and of the uncertain end. In such cases, I think that euthanasia is unjustified and should never be carried out. I find it appropriate and justified only where the consciousness and subconsciousness are no longer functioning, and where there has also been a sinking of consciousness into darkness. This would be the case, as you say, in the case of an absolute and irreparable irreparability. For my part, however, I have not yet become clear whether this is really the case. But if this is an assumption, then euthanasia is unjustified. Where do you and yours stand on this? You speak from the mind of all of us. Your thoughts are also ours. Only recently, Father spoke of the factor humanism, and also, in this case, his words are confirmed. Earth humans are very unhumane and unreasonable. We are informed that euthanasia is forbidden by law in your country and that you are involved in various legal proceedings. Euthanasia, however, is a natural law of true humanity, and by nature it is applied daily and always where this law must be fulfilled. But this law also applies to earth humans, and therefore they do not commit a crime when they apply euthanasia according to the law of nature. But it is only justified where the facts you have mentioned apply and an irreparable irreparability appears. Euthanasia, however, must never be permitted and is contrary to the laws of the creation and nature 
where it is carried out only for reasons of tiredness of life, pain, sorrow, and worry, feeling abandoned, old age, and as a result of many other things of the same direction. That is a clear answer, which also tells me that irreparability therefore really means being dead alive. But then how is it with you and other highly evolved life forms in the universe? Do you or others also bring euthanasia into use? Certainly, it is applied everywhere, and in those cases where there is no possibility of any change for the better. But these possibilities are much greater in relation to the earthly ones. Are you saying that you can cure irreparability? In certain cases, yes. 